And now the host of Here's to Your Health, Hans Kugler. Sure, that was a magnificent introduction, but I am only the co-host. You're the genius that gets this whole thing going and keeps it going. Thank you, Hans. But I certainly appreciate being here and getting the chance to interview people that are so important in this field and that are all making a big attempt in changing this disease care business back to true health care. It is absolutely ridiculous that a country like ours, a potential like no other countries, that we are at the bottom of the totem pole in respect to overall health ranking. Anyway, so my next guest is here is Dr. Dalal Akuri, MD. Actually, she's in Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. And she's visiting a friend of mine here in MD, Dr. Uh, Fuad Ghali, who was also on this show. And uh, she's one of the leading people in being, be, making people aware that we need to have a little bit of a different approach. You know, let me read a little bit something. My mission is to ignite the spark of health deep within everyone and to allow this sparkle of wellness to shine through everyone's eyes, becoming one with the universe and aligning body, mind, and spirit. Totally agree. No <laughs> question about it. We talked a little bit earlier. I mean, we very much think along the same lines. And uh, But at first, tell us a little bit about like how people can read a little bit more about you and where to find you. Well, Hans, I'm really very excited to be here today. And I'm very privileged to be here with you today. Mm -hmm. And thank you, everyone, for allowing me to share my point of view mm -hmm. with, with everyone. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> My name is Dalel Akori. My practice is Aware Med, <clears throat> a health and wellness resource center. And the reason we came up with the word Aware Med is because we think awareness is a key. What I hope to do and is to join the forces to be part of the revolution of healthcare. It's an evolution, but a revolution. And it needs to be by the people, for the people, with the people. And um, Healthcare is really not going to be imposed on us. It has to be with us and for us. And awareness is the key. And mm -hmm. that's why we chose the word AwareMed. <clears throat> and um, right, that's also the website, right? Yes. www.awaremed.com. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> In all these areas, combining the many different health practices, we have one major problem. And we just talked about it several times with other health professionals that we had on here, that people just think, I have insurance, you are the doctor, you write me a prescription, you give me a pill, and I get well. And that is just definitely not the way to go. This right? is really a solution for failure because there's nothing that is of importance that you can buy for nothing. Uh, your health is the most important investment that you ever have. Mm -hmm. And my focus is your health is your, really your next wealth. Mm -hmm. You cannot be healthy uh, and not wealthy, but you can not be wealthy unless you are healthy. Mm -hmm. So it's so important for people to realize mm -hmm. that wealth is nothing but true health. There's mm -hmm. one thing you cannot buy is your health back. Yeah. So people need to realize that a tiny bit of a copay and being a number is not what you want. You have a unique individuality that has not been approached by traditional medicine. There's a lot of things that traditional medicine offer. It's the science. But what we offer, people who are out of the box, we think out of the box, what we offer is something unique. We combine the wisdom of the past with the tremendous uh, progress in the, the future, mm -hmm. and we make it a science. That is the marriage that we want to offer everyone. It's just the beauty of really combining the, harmo the harmony of the past with the advancement in medicine. So we can combine stem cell with the wisdom of the past. Mm -hmm. And that's what we offer in an integrative approach, okay? Mm -hmm. We can be regenerative, we can be anti-aging, we can do age management, but what matters is the toolbox should be full of tools. And those are the tools we arm our patients with. A person like you or Dr. Galley or, or many doctors in the integrative arena have are leaders in in helping people become 
the CEO of their own health. Mm. That's the best thing you can offer. Totally, absolutely. It goes back to my heart recovery, yes. right? When I was down in the dumps, yes. a car accident had ruptured parts in my heart. The left atrium was blown out of shape, bubbled out. I was down in the dumps. I walked 30 feet. I'm, <laughs> and everybody who I asked, Dr. Ron Klotz, A4M, Dr. Yes. Ali, Dr. Oh, David Wolf, anybody basically will think outside the box. Yes. But what's inside the box is medicine. Right. I mean, medications, drugs, they don't work, right? And uh, a friend of mine, Dr. Ulrich Friedrichson from Germany, uh, who I probably may have on the show in a couple of weeks. He uh -huh. is coming to visit me, right? Uh, Heidelberg and Tübingen University did a big project where they looked at an old method where people used to go to Germany and Switzerland for regeneration with embryonic sheep cell injections. Mm -hmm. And that was extremely effective in some areas. Oh, yeah. And guess what? Number one, immune stimulation in respect to cancer. Exactly. And in another area, Down syndrome children. Wow. Wow. I mean, what an interesting mm -hmm. area. And I saw pictures. There was a professor, Franz Schmidt, at the Schaffenberg University in Germany. Yeah. I visited him. And when they diagnosed the kids as Down syndrome early enough and they gave them these embryonic shots, totally harmless. I mean, no side effects, absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. They're literally the IQ, which Down syndrome children have about 40, doubles to 80. Yeah. The facial features and a growth rate. I mean, you've got to take a second look to really see the Down syndrome children, right? Exactly. And I mean, it, it goes, it combines from every area, right? Exactly. And uh, it, when I had my problem, you know, also the same thing from, from Uli, I mean, Dr. Fries in Heidelberg, you know, at, at Tübingen University, well, think outside the box. Yeah. I mean, this is a whole international thing. And what's outside the box is good health practices. Exactly. And the only really major thing is that we are realigning the health practices. Exactly. Right? We used to say, oh, well, there's nutrition and there's stress management, this is this, and exercise. No, exercise is absolutely number one. There's no question about it. At Roosevelt University in Chicago, we did longevity studies with cancer-prone animals, and we put a group of animals, cancer-prone, very similar in percentage. They die from cancer, same as humans do. And we put them under all the right conditions. That means exercise, quality nutrition, a good environment, carbon-filtered tap water, vitamin, antioxidant supplementation, and so on. And the other one, subjected to cigarette smoke, regular average junk food, no exercise, limited cages, and so on. We have a difference in 100% in average lifespans. And everybody says, come on, that can't be. But if you overlap this on the human model, you will find that it literally 100% overlaps yeah. because we have the average lifespan of people at that time was about 74, okay? You extrapolate back to people who are doing a lot of things wrong, including cigarette smoke, no exercise, and you get an average lifespan of about 56, and 100% of 56, 160 is right in the maximum lifespan for humans, 110 to 120. So it all agrees, it all fits very nicely. But more here from your point of view. We talked this morning a little bit more about yeah. the details, right? And in my book, health education, tell people how to do it correctly. But you go a little bit deeper in connecting people's, uh, your state of mind and so on. Tell well, us a little bit more about what, that. I've always been interested in what people call body-mind medicine. Mm -hmm. However, <clears throat> now I'm going to tell you, I believe more in spirit, mind, body. So my pyramid is inversed. It's a completely different pyramid. I start with the lighter part, and that connects me with the universe. We're all mm. one with that universe. It's a frequency, we're, but we're missing the frequency, and that's really the problem. Mm. If we, we all our antennas are really not in tuned, so we don't really get improving. So stress acts on your genes. There is a hormone that is really we call stress hormones, and you you know that yeah. all mm -hmm. about that. But cortisol, which is the stress hormone, which most of us live on the stress pathway seven days on seven seven twenty four. So seven days a week we are under stress. So we are turning on the fight and flight mode twenty four seven. Mm -hmm. So when you're on that mode, you have a very high cortisol level. Now, all the studies have shown that 
20% of the genome are under the influence of cortisol. So if you really restore that what we call neuroendocrine balance, when you align the neural and endocrine balance in an optimized way, you end up having to control 24% of your genes. So you are able to upregulate the good genes and you downregulate the bad genes. So truly, most of my patients do know that your genes are not your destiny. It's your lifestyle. And I preach lifestyle medicine. Mm -hmm. Choices that you make, it's not only about just exercise, but it's about the whole thing. It's, I like the holism with a W because it involves everything, spirit, mind, body, exercise. Love is medicine. People don't love enough. They don't hug enough. <clears throat> they don't. I, I call it neuroendocrine production on demand. You can change your chemistry with a smile. Mm. So what, how more powerful could that be? Mm. Well, Which, you know, we, we just met. Yeah. Actually, today. <laughs> Yeah, we just met just today. So look at the subtitle of my book. Learn how to control your genes to stay young with well, age. Look at that. Right? It, I it, it believe is, it. Absolutely. High five. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, it's amazing how things work. It's, mm. it, it's all coming into place. Many of us are working very hard with a mission to try to bring this to the forefront. Forefront of medicine is the awareness. And we are all working very hard to try to, uh, to help people understand that it's, it's a holistic approach to medicine. Mm -hmm. Traditional medicine have divided and dissected the body into many, many, many segments. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing right now is to put it back together. So we've dissected it into cardiovascular, uh, neuro, um, GI, but that's not it. It's one. So people That's like right. and, us. And a big part of this is actually uh, hormone balances, exactly. uh, which then controls genes yeah. and so on and so on. As a matter of fact, this weekend, coming weekend, June 5th through 8th in San Diego, there is a big symposium held by the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine. And you... You know, if you're out there, tell your doctor about it, right? I, and you can see it at worldhealth.net. Exactly. Right? I, actually, I mean, I'm going there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be at the Integrative Cancer Module mm -hmm. <clears throat> with Dr. Rosenberg and Dr. Mm -hmm. Dwight, yeah, and Dr. Right. Pamela that Smith. Is, that is the right way to yeah. go. No question, no question mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's anyway, amazing. A nice, a nice way how everything falls into place. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah. great movement. Mm -hmm. It's really the movement by the people for the people. And what we really need to do is embrace and embrace the revolution of wellness. It's a wellness revolution and forget about the this is mind. We need to put it back into the wellness mind. Mm. Proactive approach to treatment and healing. So that's that's right. So when you, where are your next book coming out? Well, actually, <laughs> that is the tr I have one of my first books is Please don't eat the donuts. <laughs> and that's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. My very first book was slowing down the aging process, yeah. right? And then Dr. Cook does seven keys to a longer life and uh, tripping the clock and, and all kinds of things. And my latest one here, the lifelong health. As a matter of fact, with a nonprofit organization, this nineteen dollar book is now available as an e book. Wow. Right? Amazon, Barnes and Noble, et cetera, et cetera, for a mere seven dollars and fifty-five cents. Wow! So all you people out there, go there and buy a book for all of your hundreds of friends. <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree with that. Mm -hmm. Well, you you know, we are working toward one same goal, which is really to reach mm -hmm. wellness, and uh, it's not going to be imposed by by changes in political science, mm -hmm. political arena it's us we have to be proactive it has to be preventive right. medicine we have to focus on the investment in your health like mm. you all are we're all working with stem cell now mm. this regenerative medicine this is the transplant made mm. easy mm. you know it's just instead of just making a massive major transplant mm. and the starting point where all yeah. of this is look at where we live 
<laughs> our country in the world is being polluted I to a degree that's unbelievable. I mean, the last thing here, what they're doing, fracking, right? Fracking is fracturing the release of natural gas from shale in the ground. And I was a research company for Standard Oil of Indiana. And I know that fracking can be achieved with simple water and finely ground sand. Yeah. Right? And now recently they come up, oh, yeah, we have to add chemicals to it. And then you try to find out what the chemicals are. Nobody tells you, oh, it's a, it's a trade secret. Well, <laughs> guess what? Somebody messed up. Mm. And somebody got information from Pennsylvania, what they have in there. It confirms 100% what I always suggested, that it's industry with their total disrespect. I want to see some parts of industry. I mean, there are a lot of them. You're going solar and electrical cars and everything else. But a big part of industry is just polluting for five cents more of profit anywhere. And it's just amazing what they're doing, right? I mean, we, I got my hands on a list from Pennsylvania of the chemicals they are adding to the fracking. And they insert it very deep into our groundwater. These chemicals do not, I mean, uh, get taken apart because there's not even enough energy or anything like this to do so. They will pollute the, 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 the groundwater like un, unexpected. I mean, like never before. Right? Is, is that not really self-destructive prophecy? Are, mm -hmm. are, we, are, are we not really causing the demise of our na of our human nature? Well, we started a long time ago. I mean, look yeah. at, for example, I mean, go back to the Bible, right? Yes. What's the best way to feed the people? The oceans, right? right? The fish. Well, how much are we polluting this thing? Unbelievable. I mean, mercury, arsenic, cadmium, so on, burning raw coal. Now, here we are buying things made in China because they're cheap. <laughs> well, how come they can make it cheap? Because they're getting it from the U.S. raw coal. Right. And they are not. I mean, in the U.S. we have something that's called clean coal, which is a joke in itself. Uh -huh. I mean, they only <laughs> remove a few percent of the of the toxic minerals, right? But still, in the U.S., with that process of removing some of the toxic chemicals, we are still putting 50 tons of mercury into the ocean every year. Every year. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, we buy cheap stuff from from China. Well, why? Because when we, they can make it cheap because they don't, there's just no loss, nothing to even pre-clean the coal. They burn the coal raw. And thanks to this, 150 tons of mercury from China alone go into the oceans. Mm -hmm. And it gets to a point where even our conservative, I don't mean conservative Republican, I mean the, 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 the people that try to, ignore everything else, and they're now saying that when pregnant women should not eat fish anymore unless it's from really deep cold water. Right. I mean, how far do we go? I mean, but, there's, a, there's an, an, an oil consortium that put $100 million, I understand, into project making believe that environmental change is not real. Well, that, well if it was not real, why is cancer becoming an epidemic? And mm -hmm. why is pediatric cancer is on the rise? Mm -hmm. Because of all the toxins we're producing. Our genes have not changed. You know that mm -hmm. study about the mm -hmm. mommies. Yep. When they done the mommy studies, they did not find cancer in many, many thousands mm -hmm. of them that they have evaluated, except for one or two. So it tells you that by tempering with the environment, We've changed the milieu, and now we're reacting to this. Our mm -hmm. genes are reacting to this. Mm -hmm. And now we're creating children who are prone to cancer. Mm -hmm. They're destined to develop cancer. One in three people are developing yeah, they cancer. Seem to be, they seem to be the targets yes. of this. I mean, during one of the American mm -hmm. Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine meetings, I presented a metabolic pathway. I mean, this is, this is my thing. This is yeah. the same what Robert Lustig done at UC Davis when he uh, when he talks about sugar, the bitter truth. The metabolic pathways, you can follow them. This is like proof. Exactly. Right? And so, and I showed what's happening, how a message that gets to the cells exactly. to initiate, for example, a immune response. Exactly. And 
it comes to the surface of the cell and there's a receptor, lock and key mechanism and it transplants uh, to the nucleus and it makes a, a various different types of RNA, messenger RNA, transfer RNA and so everything was long. Along these lines, there's four ways with all these toxic chemicals that can be interfered with. Mm-hmm. And we are already seeing it. Yeah. I mean, the change in hormones, for example, in young kids and in, in girls as early as seven. It's scary, right? isn't it? And for boys, smaller penises. I mean, yeah. let's face it, right? But what is that? It's all the xenoestrogens that we mm-hmm. are exposed to. Yeah. And it's all from the plastic we, we, we're using constantly from all the pesticides. Mm-hmm. Like you said, from China, pesticides is really a key for them. Mm-hmm. And those are xenoestrogens. And now mm-hmm. that's why prostate cancer is becoming... Mm-hmm. A, a more prominent than ever. Right, That's why we were not really. I mean, God, we haven't achieved everything yet. We've got to make genetically <laughs> modified food, poison the people along those lines, you know. <laughs> Otherwise, I mean, gosh Almighty, Social Security wouldn't go out of business financially, and so on and so on. <clears throat> oh my! Oh, it, 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 it's just amazing what they're doing, right? I know, <laughs> but you know what? Now the people are with us. People are ready for this. They mm-hmm. are. It's prime time for the change this is the mass critical mass that we have reached Mm -hmm. not only physicians like you and and all of us are from the anti-aging the Mm -hmm. a4m from functional medicine to acam every one of us are really moving toward a goal which is really achieve Mm -hmm. um, awareness but also the public is on your side they are demanding new health care. Mm-hmm. They're demanding a proactive care. They are involved in their care right. because of people like the, the pioneers who mm-hmm. began this revolution. I mm-hmm. call it evolution revolution because it's an evolution that is leading to a major revolution. It's magnificent to be in this movement, yes. right? I mean, I love to face, and I've made this statement many, many times, give me some of these mentally blah 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 people that are supporting environmental pollution Mm -hmm. and genetically modified foods and so on and so on on the other side right i mean very recently in the past few days japan germany and some other countries they banned the import of wheat from the u.s yeah this is one of our biggest uh, you know export costs and so on and so on we could be the best in everything else electrical cars and eight years ago no, it was about six years ago. I put a three kilowatt solar system under my house. Mm-hmm. Normally, you put a one and a half kilowatt, which you know produces all the electricity that you ever need. I put a three kilowatt system in there because I was listening to GM's baloney mm-hmm. about oh, we will have that volt coming up, and this is a plug-in car, and so on and so on. And uh, when you look at the reality of that you find that actually some of these cars that they are making, the whole setup is like designed not to do what they're supposed to do. I mean, it's just amazing. I know. (laughs) I am really very happy that Mm. I had a chance to be here Mm. today and share Mm. my information and my knowledge with Mm. everyone else and be part of this great Mm. movement and that's oh, and we place. are going strong, right? I know. I mean, my challenge out there, <laughs> give me all those people. <laughs> let's get on a national discussion, right? Debate, yeah. Put us on the stage, right? And what is your, you know, what's your approach and what are your data and what are you so on? Because there's nothing there that they can justify, you know? Well, what is the point in polluting our world and our country and everything else for another five cents of profits in, in the oil industry and all this stuff? I mean, look at – there's an organization, 350.org, mm-hmm. which was actually very recently changed to 400.org. Well, the 350 was a level of carbon dioxide in the air that's measured actually in Hawaii because it is not influenced by anything industry that is close to it. And it shows this is the turnaround level. I mean, we go past that. We're in deep you-know-what. Right? Know. And uh, it's happening, right? And then you hear about chemtrails, right? And there's this uh, a lady in, uh, in the Air Force. She was a chemical you know, engineer and so on. She now went public. And 
let people know that people in the military were getting sick from all this stuff. They were loading aluminum particles on the carrier planes that they spray up in the air. Right? And guess it's, what's happening with dementia then? Uh -huh. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> aluminum and dementia, look at what's yeah, happening. Yeah. So really, yeah. truly, people need to become more aware mm. that the environment affects their genes. Mm. And all the things we do to temper the genome, genome is going to really have massive effects on our bodies. Okay, and give me your website one more time. Uh, it's awaremed.com. So www.awaremed.com. Yes, and my right. name is Dalel Akori, A-K-O-U-R-Y. Okay, another genius in this field. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but it was really nice having you here. Uh, it was magnificent meeting you. And we met at a local place here, the Good Stuff Restaurant in Redondo Beach. And we were sitting there for hours just talking, talking, talking. And they're very patient. Let us do it. You know? It was nice. <laughs> I've had a great time. Thank you. Anyway, Thank you so much okay. for inviting so, me today. Well, you will be back. We will be back. And for all those people out there, Go to our website, awaremed.com. Okay, buy my book, Lifelong Health, Learn How to Control Your Genes, to Stay Young with Age, now available at a non-profit price, etc., etc. And listen to Joshua Lane here. Here's to your health, your best approach to staying fit, healthy, getting younger, and so on and so on. Yeah. <laughs> so just stay tuned, and we'll be right back after this commercial break. Oh, how wonderful.